submitted a number of essays on blogging. Do you view that as a form of advocacy? Yes, yes. And um, it's very interesting because blogging, uh, according to a lot of people, is dead. And um, I mean, a lot of people would argue that, and, and many also wouldn't. Uh, I read a, a great uh, scholarly article about um, how blogging was kind of a, a transition between the, the static web and the dynamic web. You know, it's uh, uh, not as uh, fast and uh, on the uptake and on the exchange as the microblogging platforms and uh, the short form social media. Uh, so it was it was kind of like the you know, websites as we think of them, and you know, mix between that and say Twitter. Um, but all of it can be advocacy. I mean, letters typed on a typewriter or written on a piece of paper, they're advocacy too, you know, it all is. And, um, and I think that blogging takes commitment to build a presence and to post regularly um, and to stay on topic if, if the blog is about advocacy primarily. And, um, but it, when it's nurtured like a, you know, cultivating a garden, it can definitely be advocacy. It can become a go-to place for people on the web if they're wanting to know about um, education policy issues in Louisiana. They, If they know of a blog, if it's been sufficiently promoted by the blogger and the blogger's friends, um, it can gain a reputation. And um, Google search rank, it can rise in the search rank results. And so, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a good form of advocacy in 2015 and beyond. Well, you